Hi, my name's Dave Wafelt. I'm the regional manager for the Timco Sweeper Company. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our Model 210 parking lot sweeper. Today the Model 210 was uh, developed quite a few years ago by Timco as a parking lot and parking structure sweeper. Timco stands for the Young Manufacturing Company. They invented the Regenerative Air Sweeper about 45 years ago. After they developed the Street Sweeper, they later developed this Model 210. It's a two cubic yard Regenerative Air parking lot sweeper. Today we have it mounted on the Isuzu HD, NPR HD uh, chassis. We've added a new feature on this model we call the Comdex, which allows us to put a little extra water for dust control. This particular sweeper's got 72 gallons of water on board for dust control. Let's talk a little bit about what the Timco Regenerative Air Sweeper is really all about. It's an air sweeper. We're utilizing air to actually do the sweeping. And the thing that sets us apart from everybody else is that we have a pickup head that has a blast orifice in it that blasts the pavement with air that comes off of this blower wheel. The Timco sweeper here, the Model 210, is powered by a 56 horsepower Kubota diesel engine. We belt drive a blower wheel which pulls air from our hopper, pushes it down into the upper chamber of the pickup head, and then that air comes out of that blast orifice. 78 inch wide pickup head is blasting the pavement with air, and that's what actually does the sweeper a sweeping on this particular sweeper here. As I mentioned, this is a dual chambered pickup head. Once that air hits the pavement, we get the debris airborne and we shove it over to the other side of the sweeper. We'll talk about the suction side over on the other side here in just a minute. We've also got this sweeper uh, equipped with our gutter broom. That's uh, an optional gutter broom that you can have it mounted either on the right or the left hand side. On this particular one, we've mounted a gutter broom on the left hand side. And that allows the operator to come along curb lines or walls or whatever and move material in front of the pickup head so that we can get that material picked up. As I mentioned earlier, this is a two cubic yard uh, sweeper. Allows us to sweep for quite, quite a long time before we need to dump. Nice thing about this is this is a high dump sweeper. Once we're uh, ready to uh, dump the load that we've got in the hopper, then we're able to dump that straight into a, a roll-off container or into a dumpster, and you never have to double handle the material uh, after that. So now I have the hopper in the raised or dump position on the Model 210. It has a 60-inch dump pipe, which allows you to dump into a standard three cubic yard dumpster. This is a hopper in the raised position here where we're, we're able to dump. But with the hopper up in the up position, it also allows me to show you one of the things that is a key to the Timco uh, Regenerative Air Sweeper design, and that is our cyclonic centrifugal dust separator. This dust separator is the heart of cleaning the air up prior to returning that air into the blower wheel. We're the only sweeper company on the face of the earth that has this style of dust separator. It allows us to use a lot less water for dust control and makes for a much, much cleaner sweeper uh, in operation. One of the unique things about the Timco Model 210 sweeper is that this is a dual engine design. The advantage of this design is that we've got sufficient power to operate the sweeper. A lot of other sweepers that run off of the truck engine simply don't have the sweeping power that the Model 210 is available. We power our sweeper with a 56 horsepower Kubota diesel engine. That provides power to the blower wheel but also provides uh, power to the hydraulic pump which gives us our other hydraulic functions such as raising and lowering the pickup head powering the gutter brooms, and obviously dumping the hopper itself. You also have another view here of our dust separator that I talked about in the earlier part of this. Very, very important part of the Timco design, cleaning that air up before it gets into the blower wheel. This is the suction side of the pickup head. Once we have blasted the pavement with that air coming off of the blower wheel, that dirty air then is shoved over to this suction side. We've already pulled a vacuum on the hopper, which is then going to pull that dirty air up the suction hose into the hopper. 
pretty high velocity air coming up this suction hose, but once it hits the hopper, that velocity, that air drops off dramatically, allowing most of the dirty material that we've picked up off the pavement to drop into the hopper. We also have a water nozzle uh, right where that dirty air is going into the hopper that gets the dust and sand out of that air stream. And then whatever fine dust that might not uh, stay in the hopper that does go on through the, the uh, screen in the hopper is going to go through that dust separator, get cleaned out before that air goes back into the blower wheel. Another really nice feature on this particular uh, Model 210 we've got is we've equipped it with a belt-driven CAT mechanical water pump. That gives us high pressure water capability both for dust control, but it also allows us to hook up our high pressure, low volume wash wand uh, that is mounted back here on this hose reel. This uh, hand grip then hooks up to the uh, lamps that allows you to do high pressure washing. This sweeper also is available with an auxiliary uh, hand hose, which allows you to get into corners along fence lines, places that you uh, would not be able to take the sweeper, but you still need to be able to pick that material up. And having that high pressure wash wand on there is just an extra advantage whenever you're using that feature on there. Another nice thing that we put on uh, this particular sweeper is has our auxiliary hydraulics. That allows us to dump the uh, sweeper and any of the other hydraulic functions on the sweeper without having to start the auxiliary engine keeps the dust down that way, makes it a lot easier for you to back in, dump the sweeper, and then go right back to sweeping again. This is the control panel on the Model 210 sweeper. All of the functions of the sweeper are controlled on this panel here. All of the engine functions for the Kubota diesel engine are shown here. Tachometer, voltmeter, coolant temperature, oil pressure, and then an hour meter for the uh, auxiliary engine for the sweeper. As I mentioned earlier, we also do have the auxiliary hydraulic capability. Once I turn the key on and my auxiliary hydraulic uh, uh, switch on, then I just simply depress this button here and allows me to run any of the hydraulic functions on the sweeper itself. This raises and lowers the pickup head. These two switches here control my gutter brooms allows you to drop them down into to working position. Um, these switches right in here are all of my water system switches. That's the master water system switch there. I have hopper water and then my two uh, broom water uh, switches. So I have individual control of dust control water for uh, each of the, of the gutter brooms. We also have uh, on this, of course, an in-cab uh, dump switch, which allows you to back into position to a dumpster and uh, hydraulically dump the hopper uh, into, that, uh, into that container. Also have engine uh, RPM control so that you can uh, control the speed of the auxiliary engine. Um, also have some optional uh, features on this particular sweeper. This one has the uh, drop down uh, gutter broom uh, design on it which allows us if we put this to the end position like that it's going to put the brooms down in front of the pickup head as opposed to the normal out position which you would be using along a curb line or, or anything like that. Another couple of features that we uh, always have on uh, all of the Timco sweepers, one is our pressure bleeder. That allows us, as we open this up, that allows us to pull more air under the front curtain, thus allowing us to pick up leaves, litter, light material, and the like. And then for normal sweeping, we usually keep it down either closed or about a half open there. Another very important uh, option that comes standard on our sweepers is our automatic shutdown system here. So that if we lose any of the functions with the auxiliary engine, either low coolant level, uh, low oil pressure, or high engine temperature, it's a 30 second automatic shutdown protecting the rear engine. And again, with your auxiliary hydraulics, if you did have uh, some kind of uh, function, uh, problem with the auxiliary engine, you can always raise the pickup head up and bring the gutter brooms in to be able to uh, uh, drive the sweeper uh, back to get it uh, fixed there. So that concludes our presentation of the Timco Model 210 Regenerative Air Sweeper. One of the things people would be asking is, well, what are the applications for this sweeper? They are numerous. It can be used in just straight parking lot sweeping, very popular in parking structure sweeping, 
Oftentimes there we'll mount it on a Ford F450 conventional chassis which gives us a little lower height to be able to get into parking structures. But this, this uh, particular sweeper is very, very popular with school districts, colleges, universities, particularly community colleges that have really tight areas that they need to be able to sweep. Industrial complexes which are increasingly an issue with sweeping because now they're being required to keep their pavement clean to prevent stormwater uh, pollution runoff. Real hot topic going on right now is both stormwater pollution and air quality pollution. pollution. The TIPCO Model 210 is unique in that it is able to address both of those at the same time. Reducing air quality uh, issues, air pollution issues that comes off of pavement, but certainly also very, uh, very much impacting the amount of uh, pollutants going into the stormwater drains, into the storm drains on a facility. So we're seeing a lot of our customers coming to us saying, we, we've got a problem, a pollution problem. Whether it be air quality or stormwater quality, this particular sweeper can get into small, tight areas and solve those problems for you. My name is Dave Welfeld. I'm a regional manager for the Timco Sweeper Company based out of Waco, Texas. Today, we're talking about this with Marco Equipment based out of Pomona, California. If you have any further uh, questions or need further information on this, there'll be information at the uh, end of this video telling you how you can contact Marco Equipment. Thanks for listening.